Hey, it's Kendall, and this is 90 Second Church. Today is Good Friday. Sometimes people ask me, well, where's the good in Good Friday? Luke tells the story very simply. Luke 23, verse 33, just says, When they came to a place called the Skull, they nailed him to the cross. Further down, it says, By this time it was noon, and darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. The light from the sun was gone, and suddenly the curtain in the sanctuary, the temple was torn down the middle, and Jesus shouted, Father, I entrust my spirit into your hands. And with those words, he breathed his last. You know, it's fascinating to me that Jesus was in control of this thought every step of the way. At any point along the way, he could have said, I'm done. That's too much. I don't want to do it. But he didn't. He saw it through. How come? Because he loved us, and he knew that by his death, death would die. He knew that by his wounds we would be healed. He knew that by him going to the grave he could conquer the grave. He knew that in taking on our sin he could remove our sin. And that is the good in the good news that God loved us so much that when we couldn't come to him he came to us in the person of Jesus who made a way for us to know God be reconciled and right before him. And not only is God for us and God with us, but by the power of Jesus, God can live within us. Reflect on that today. Let it sink deeply. Let it change you. I'll talk to you soon.